my mom and my family are like, this isn't gonna happen. And then I was thinking, I'm getting married, is this the right thing? And I, I need some time, I can't think here. I'm going to Morocco to live in the desert. I, I just saw fear in his eyes. You know when I know Sofian's like, done with something. He looked like he was done and I was thinking, no, oh, I'm so excited. The worst day of my life, of my entire life, that was like one of the lows. Assalamu alaikum guys, what's going on? My name's Sofian. My name's Amara. We are the exes and welcome back to the channel. Okay, so first things first, we've been gone a little while. I think uh, just for over a month. We've had a few challenges in the past month and a half or so. Okay. Not between us, so we're okay. Yeah, we're, we're okay. Alhamdulillah, I'm still happily married. <laughs> I got my rings off today. Yeah, yeah. For anybody who thinks it's haram, this is, that's not haram. Sometimes life can be a bit challenging and um, say alhamdulillah for everything all the time thank you very much for everybody who reached out to us on messages and comments uh, just to check up on us uh, like really means really means a lot to us and kept us going sometimes yeah yes. but we're back better than ever man <laughs> well, yeah, we're like how said we're still happily married <laughs> nothing's going on between the marriage no you know when you're being def defensive about something yeah i'm really happy yeah. we're still happy like, oh i knew they'd be breaking up no 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 so yes it's been a month but we are back Alhamdulillah, and today's video is about everything that went wrong with our wedding. Before the wedding, during the wedding, just everything that you saw, everything that you didn't see, everything that kind of went wrong with the wedding because weddings can be a little bit crazy. In a video, you just see a montage or something, you just think, oh, it was all the best everything bits, is yeah. so amazing. There were some other things that went on. <laughs> Good day overall. But yeah. Took a road to get there. Yeah. And some <laughs> Moroccan mountains. <laughs> If you've seen our wedding video, you know, alhamdulillah, it was a really beautiful day. Everything was gorgeous. la di da di da da What you will see is I'm looking really happy the whole time. Smiling, grinning. Here's a massive spoiler right at the beginning. I was happy it happened because I didn't think it was going to happen. And I'm not saying like, oh, well, I'll never get married. No, this wedding with this man, I didn't think it was going to happen. <laughs> so at least I'm prize. Yes, he's a prize. I don't just mean that. She's a prize. I did not think it was going to happen, even on the day. So on the day, I'm like, Sofian here. They're like, yeah, I'm like, how does he look? Is he looking nervous? Oh, he looks good. I'm like, oh, yay. That's when I got happy. I'm like, he's here. We're actually doing it. Because before that, it was tears. It wasn't tears. For you, for me, I was just in my room like, what is this? Yeah, that's because of Mara's emotion. <laughs> it's not that it didn't nearly happen. It, it didn't nearly, yeah. It didn't nearly happen. No, no, no. So in our religion, getting married, um, is completing half of your deen. Which half of your half, faith. Yeah, so half of your religion and half of your faith is complete by getting married. There's a whole load of reasons for that. We'll go into it in another video. Because it's such a like, major thing, yeah, the shaitan comes into play. Yeah, with the shaitan comes a whole load of doubts. And up until the moment I got married, I'm sure it happens with some people afterwards as well, I had doubts. I'm very happily married. I'm married to, mashallah, alhamdulillah, the most beautiful girl in Nugget, the most beautiful world, what? what you the got? most beautiful world! MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, the most beautiful girl in the world for me. Yeah, if it's for yeah, you, sorry bro. Yeah. <laughs> there were doubts, man. She's perfect for me, but I, I had doubts. I had many sleepless nights. I wasn't crying. I didn't know whether I was making the right decision or not. You know, guys, they just playing the PlayStation, bro. There's like, I'm there crying. He's probably at home like, no. I was playing the PlayStation, but I was deep in the thought. <laughs> what were you playing? I can't remember. Red Dead Redemption. I can't remember. My life before you was a blur. Oh, that. <laughs> There was actually a moment when um, I called him out. <laughs> this is me at home like, this is gonna happen. He's telling me, oh, this is gonna happen. But no plans are being made at all. He's like, in the next month or two, we're going to get married. Nothing's being planned, nothing's being done. Things are not coming together. My mom and my family are like, this isn't gonna happen. He's like, this is gonna happen. I'm like trying to hold on to his words, but he's not giving me anything to hold on to. I this is happening and I'm still trying to hold on with these red flags going on of this guy just looking like he's flaking on me. This is what he does. Wait, this isn't like a month before. This, this is, was a month no, before. No, this is a few months before. This is a few it was before. close, Sofian. I said, um, Amara, bear with me, but I'm gonna move to Morocco. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, him! No, 
<laughs> me and my brother decided that we were just gonna go to Morocco and live in the desert for a bit. Which sounds wild, it just sounds like some playboy kind of thing. I was in a bad place. Yo, mentally and emotionally, I'll be honest, I was in a bad place, yeah, and I needed some escape. I was caught in this system which uh, I wasn't enjoying. And then I was thinking, I'm getting married, is this the right thing? And I, I need some time, I can't think here. I'm going to Morocco to live in the desert. Uh, which is mad. And when I say I was this close to, <laughs> to doing it, not this close, maybe like this close. We we were actively thinking about doing it and we didn't do it again. You know like in the movies, he wants to run away with the girl. He don't want to run away with me bro. He That's wants not, to go with his brother. He not, wants to go with his brother to Morocco bro. That's Where not, did we go for our honeymoon, Sufyan? Morocco. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> look mine! <laughs> You know like when something big happens in your life and you remember where you were? I was at the foot of my bed, pacing that floor like, yeah, okay, okay. So how long are you gonna be? Just trust me, trust me, I'll be back in a month. Okay, okay. Are you sure you're not having doubts about us? No, 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 just trust me, trust me. Okay. Mom, he <laughs> wants to go to the desert for a month. <laughs> my mom that time just like, oh yeah, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man. Getting married was a big thing for me. I didn't really think I'd be getting married. It came out of nowhere, although I didn't know for a year. But I mean, like, when you get closer to it, you're like, okay, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. I wasn't where I wanted to be in my life at that time. Nothing was lining up. I had the chance of a lifetime to marry Amara, and it was a scary decision. I didn't know how things would line up or how things would match, but Alhamdulillah, Allah is, Allah is like the greatest, provides everything. So. It turned out okay, but I'm, t I'm telling you it was difficult. It was difficult. Stressful time for me. I think that's very fair, but at the time, it just looked like he was like completely flaking on me. So if you're super private too, so he's not going to go in depth about why he's... Yeah, was... Like now he talks about it, but at the time, he wasn't being very communicative. So it just looked like he was really not sure about us. And Sofiane hates booking things in advance, so he wasn't willing to book anything. No, no, no. no. So that was the first thing that went wrong. Second thing. <laughs> so when you're getting married, you're speaking to your potential spouse. It's all love and all. We love each other. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. As soon as it goes to, okay, we're going to get married and this engagement thing happens, different family dynamics come into play. Yeah. And you start to realise that your two families possibly want like different entirely things. different things. <laughs> Somebody attending the wedding or it being done in certain ways really important to them. Yeah. That might conflict with what Amara's family wants. And those two things might conflict with what me and Amara actually want yeah. as well. It was like a, a weird... Yeah. Tricky thing to balance, you know? So many opinions come in. Even if you think, my family's like really cool, my family's really cool. When everybody comes together, weddings are just when people just really have opinions, it which was, was, I get. It was, it was, but good. it was a lot. We tried to satisfy everybody. I don't know, there was a moment where Amara's mum was about to book a Scottish castle for half of the wedding over there. We were going to do half of the wedding down here. I just want to get married, babes. I yeah, just want I to, to lock you down because you're just such a gem. That Scottish thing is a bit mad. Oh no, I want the bagpipes. <laughs> it's hard to bring a bagpipe noise. <laughs> no! <laughs> Muslim weddings are just all different. Depending on the culture that the couple's yeah, yeah. from, the wedding is completely different. It's not like, oh, Muslim wedding goes set way. It depends on you from this culture, that culture, your wedding's gonna be different. We wanted one that reflected us and Asian culture has like three days normally. Okay, so obviously um, anybody who knows me or has listened to our story, my dad side of the family are all Jamaican. My dad is the only Muslim in his whole family. My dad's mother actually embraced Islam as well after my dad did, but she's passed away now. So in terms of Islam, I guess cultural association in Islam, all of the Muslims in my family Bar my father are Pakistani. So growing up, I guess, I'm talking about family, when every Muslim wedding was a Pakistani mm. wedding, yeah? So on my dad's side, it was all like churches and venues and gardens and things like that, yeah? Mm. On the Muslim side, it was all Pakistani, 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 yeah? And Pakistani weddings are done in a certain kind of way, but I didn't really want to do it in a Pakistani way because I... You're not fully Pakistani. Well, it's not that I'm not fully, fully well, Pakistani. Well, you are fully Pakistani. Watch the videos, Amara. I am fully Pakistani, <laughs> but I wanted to do something which I felt was more all of me. And I'm not rich. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want an Asian wedding either. I didn't want the three events. I thought, bing, bang, bosh. Get it done in one. Why do I want to get ready three times? Why do I want that three times? We just decided to do one day. Get it all done in one day. Wrap it up. Have a nice intimate event. Family round. Feed everybody. And kind of ride off into the sunset. That's the way that we uh, wanted it to be done. Sofiane and I decided we want one event. We want to split it down the middle cost wise and we just want all our family together in one room. We thought that's how we want to do it. Mm -hmm. So then we had to find a venue. 
No disrespect to anybody who has done this. One of the places that people will get married these days is in a restaurant. Upstairs in these restaurants, these fancy restaurants, they'll have like a banquet hall. Yeah, banquet hall. And then they'll have on the floor above the bigger banquet hall. On the um, floor above the bigger, the bigger banquet hall <laughs> than the penthouse hall. Yeah, but that's how it goes. I refused to get married in a restaurant. Listen, I'm not getting married in a restaurant and then going to eat there next week. He didn't want to go somewhere that he might go for a meal generally and he yeah. could be like, oh, I had my wedding here. He I had my wedding upstairs stuff. and now I'm just having some tikka masala downstairs. I don't eat tikka masala, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Why eat tikka masala without even for? I don't know, I was just thinking of no <laughs> If you'd won, but I refused to get married in a restaurant. It just wasn't gonna happen. Sufyan and I are a bit dangerous together because um, we get an idea and we're just very encouraging of each other and we're like yeah that's a great idea and nobody really says that's not realistic we wanted to have one day and we wanted to have great pictures from this day so we thought where do you get married for great pictures let's think outside the box a museum they weren't really um you know having dinosaur bones behind us and stuff that yeah, wasn't yeah. really the one that just we were see, going for like <laughs> stuff mommy, animals mommy and bed. morbid anyway we didn't do that then we were like a lake a cottage by the lake. That was really expensive. That wasn't going to work. Oh, a farm. I was so excited about the prospect of a farm. Yeah. I thought, imagine you get married and you go outside and you're with animals and stuff and everybody's like, it's going to smell of poo. We're like, we won't care. I'll be so happy. <laughs> but that didn't work. And then I came up with a beautiful idea. Yeah. Let's get married in an art gallery, right? That I'm, sounds classy. Yeah, yeah. We're we're classy people. We started considering art galleries and this, I mean like we really heavily pushed art galleries. We viewed them. We were like, yes, we're gonna go ahead with this. Yeah. One was too small, um, like it wouldn't fit all the people. So we're like, oh darn, we can't do that. We went to another one and it was big enough. And we thought, oh my goodness, we're going to have wedding pictures against works of art. Can't bring all the Asian family for that, but we can go sneak off and get like sick pictures yeah, with like, like a, amazing so backdrops. Just, we even thought, how are we gonna pose in a really cool way? That doesn't come that Actually, to me, I don't know if you I see my Instagram. The yeah, he, you're a cool poser. I'm not that person in it, so I really mean? thought. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> thought I'm gonna have to really step it up for this day. I am going to figure out how to be cool and pose cool. Work on it. And then we just thought about it. So cool. <laughs> I think someone told us about it basically and we was like, oh yeah, we can't do that. Because it turned out that we would have had our grandparents, my little hijab um, grandparent and Amara's like grandma just be walking around and like turn around and it's like these little cherubs with the meat and vegetable, little Greek white statues just posing naked like this with boobies and dresses and just like. We viewed three art galleries and it took us after viewing it and after pricing it to think, oh, there's just naked white greek roman people everywhere yeah. and our no. grandparents will be like looking at that while they eat yeah. <laughs> no disrespect to any white people or anything like that but it was like the opposite of a pakistani wedding <laughs> <laughs> do you know what i mean so modern <laughs> too modern too modern and we ended up getting married in the mosque we actually, there were some things we wanted in the wedding. We wanted a castle vibe. Yeah, we wanted I really wanted to get married in a Scottish castle. I really wanted a uh, marquee, a tent with some greenery yeah, around. That, I wanted that too. Yeah. yeah. My wedding in my head was in a garden with um, yeah. a marquee. And we did get married in a marquee. Actually, it was called the marquee. <laughs> <laughs> and alhamdulillah, we got to take our pictures in the garden yeah. under the castle. Um, what do you call those? Arch. That was a pretty simple word, but like a fancy word for it. So. Yeah, so Alhamdulillah, all the elements of what we wanted like came together. It was somewhere everybody could go to. It had like a forest vibe, had a castle vibe, and it had a masjid, and it had a marquee. Really, really nice. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. It, was Alhamdulillah. it was perfect in the end. In the end. Yeah. No breasts. No breasts. No breasts. Um, oh. Are you allowed to say penis in the video? I don't know. Oh, peni. Plural. Yeah. <laughs> So the next thing that sort of kind of went a bit wrong is our respective looks. Which isn't a big deal, okay? That's just superficial la di da. I think but you're very, very beautiful. <laughs> I wasn't that girl that was always like, oh, I know what I'm going to wear. I'm going to think about this. I never gave it thought. Promise, I really didn't. I am really boring. I tend to just do the same thing all the time because that's how I'm comfortable. I like to do like a naturalish look. I like to not do too much. I don't really go any crazy. I don't really do like 
crazy lipstick, crazy this. I think it looks really cool, but on me, I just feel like that's not your face. With the wedding, everybody around me, all my family was like, go out your comfort zone, be bold, be brave. Come on, you've only got one day. You don't want to just be boring. And I'd never worn false lashes before. I'd worn it once on my cousin's wedding like five years before. So I was like, oh, maybe I should go out my comfort zone. You know why? Because makeup artists are expensive, bro. My best friend was so clever. What she did was she just went to Mac and said, I've got a party soon. Can you just do like a, a makeup look for what you do for a party, a little tester thing? She got her wedding makeup done for like oh, 30 like the, the real done thing. She got the thing <laughs> done. So These days. Charge, charge him off its wedding makeup. 300? Huh? So my family are like, if you're going to pay for wedding makeup, what? go all up. Yes, it was really expensive. Why is it 300? Did you use 300 pounds worth of. No. What? Don't judge me. I was I going to do. What the hell's up? I was going to do my own makeup on the day, but I thought, what well, if I'm doing my eyeliner? My hands just trembling or something. I didn't pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> so on the day, I went out of my comfort zone and I wear it. I had the false lashes on. That was okay. I don't know why I sound trouble that. It's not a big deal. Felt like curtains were on my eyes, but that was okay. And then it was the question of, do you want the red lipstick? And I was like, no. And I'm looking at my sister, I'm thinking, go out your comfort zone tomorrow, go out your comfort zone. And my dress had red on it. I'm thinking I should put some red lipstick on. But you know the rule, girls. You don't go heavy on your eyes and your lips. You commit to one. But I was in La La Land like, La La La, I wasn't focusing. I said, go for it. Put that red on my lips. It looked great, right? It looked great at the time. It felt really good. I looked at it, I was like, ooh. Now when I look back at the wedding video, I'm like, who are you? <laughs> the makeup artist did a good job. It's just not me. Are you like the simple makeup, yeah? I like simple makeup and I'm like, who are you? Not like, oh my God, who are you? You look so great. No, I mean like, are you a woman? <laughs> This has not come from me yet. I think my wife looked beautiful on the wedding, yeah. When we posted the wedding video, I thought people were gonna roast my look or something, but people were very kind. So Brian always says he got teary-eyed when I came down the aisle. I always think with the guy who saw my makeup and you were like, like <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>, ooh. <laughs> no, listen, I'm really grateful. I sound like really rude. I'm really grateful the makeup was great. It was just not my comfort taste. So I advise you girls, go for what you want. <laughs> if you want a natural look, if you want to not go out your comfort zone, don't go out your comfort zone. And go to Mac and get it done cheap. The good things about my look, I wanted to like do my hijab properly. Yeah. I wanted to not like compromise my hijab for the day, but I wanted to also make it look nice. And then you know what I thought to myself? I want a tiara. I got my dress and it was like a long regal gown. It's what I wanted and I thought, I want a crown or a tiara did on my a, head. Did you have a tiara? Yes, bitch. Yeah, I knew that, I knew that. I was really excited. I got a tiara. It was like £12 off like it. It was really great. And I had a tiara on my head. And I'm really happy with that. I think the look came together. It's a nice tiara. I can't believe you didn't even notice my tiara. Oh, it was really nice. I was really proud of my tiara. I was really proud of it. It was really nice. I thought it was great. I think it looked beautiful. I think I, I'm proud of myself because I think you look better now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all, no, but I am really proud of myself that I got it together and I managed to do it all by myself with the help of my mom and my sisters. Uh, so for me, I had a nice little tux on. I kind of wanted to wear a tux from when I was a kid because yes, to everyone in the comments, they said I've been westernized, maybe I've been westernized, yeah. <laughs> it's a possibility. No, but I went through the options in my head. We considered wearing a shirwani, which is like the Asian dress, which is like a long- You looked amazing, dress. you said, but I also think you look really hot in Asian wear too. Yeah, I considered wearing like, like a jubba, which is like the long um, cloaky. I love when thing. he wears a jubba. But a really stylish one, which is like Arab and African dress. But I just really wanted to wear a suit. Maybe I've been westernized, slap on the face, not so bad. But if you notice, my suit was extremely fitted. I like to wear skinny jeans, as you can see here. Oh my gosh, you were so particular about your ankles. He got his suit adjusted more times than I got my dresses. I like around the ankle, I like it to be fitted. You know, just around the ankle, yeah. I got everything adjusted and I wore these pants, which um, basically didn't leave me enough room to maneuver. Obviously we got married in the hall, which is attached to the mosque and it was uh, Salah time, it was prayer time, and I was having like a little panic session, and I went to one of um, Amara's aunties, she said, Sophia, what's wrong? I'm like, I, I, I need to pray, um, I need to pray, I need to pray, and like, it's all going on, I just need to pray, and she's like, oh, just go and pray in the back. No, no, um, I can't bend down. <laughs> I can't bend down, I was, wallah, I was so scared. It's a bit embarrassing, it's ridiculous, really, yeah? I had like this vision of me leading everyone for Salah in my wedding, yeah, which is dumb, because it's a mosque, so there's an imam, like, there's an imam who married us, so he's gonna I lead I think that's a sweet thought. Can you imagine being my tight pants? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Allah, Akbar, and I just, I, just, I wouldn't be able to bend, I just have to, <laughs> do, do you know what I mean? My pants rip open at the back. I did actually manage to pray, it was uh, uncomfortable. I wrapped something around me for a bit of decency, but my pants were too tight.
So like we said, we really wanted um, like sick wedding pictures. <laughs> It's really important to us, like, I don't know why. You know what, we also hadn't really had, had photos together and stuff, so it was that thing of we're going to have epic pictures yeah, together. Yeah, we've only, we only ever done, like, a selfie at, selfies. At, at dinner with them. Um, when Prince? the family came around, yeah. and, like, I was sat here and Morris sat there and we did. <laughs> really awkward photo. Yeah, it's the only photo we had together. The photographers all kind of had the same kind of pictures when we were looking. Yeah. Also, we're looking on a budget. This isn't an endless budget. We're thinking we've got this much allocated for this, this much allocated for... Again, we're trying to be a bit different, trying to break out the mould of typical things. So then we came across this Instagram page and they had wedding photos that were like... They were, they were, ne they were next level, man. They were like Matrix photos. Like, like cinematic, sci-fi, girls up in the air in the sky, like alien halos above her, looking like she's floating. Thing, like the guy's like and she's like there and it just looks cool so we were like imagine being like dressed up cool and we're like it was, no it's not like it, was, it wasn't sonic effects like it was going in the sky nah it was someone was lifting there bro the editing was like through the roof the angles were mad drones they had wide lens short lens everything like the best movie ever the movie poster for that movie yeah. imagine inception yeah. but was sea flowing and on the ceilings and the roofs i told you it was something crazy exception <laughs> This is who we want. They are different. They are cool. Oh my goodness, there are similar prices other people were looking at. We have just stumbled upon another little miracle. You're good at glitting fines, aren't you? Yeah. Let's go. I felt like I do not have to worry about the pictures and videos. It's going to be epic. The same people who did the photography did the wedding video as Super well. Super nice. We decided that we wanted pictures in the gardens. We'd got the castle, we'd got the gardens, we'd got the look. Everything was perfect for me for, oh my gosh, these pictures are going to be like different, yeah? You stand on that tree, Sophia, and I stood on the tree. And we need the sun glare coming in, the sun glare's coming in. I'm not good, so if you take a picture with a flash, my eyes will go like this, yeah? Like this. Yeah? That's exactly me, yeah, the wedding picture. Yeah, I can't, I can't take light in my eyes. I, I just, you're just flashes, sun, yeah. I, I can't take it in my eyes. Maybe that's because I'm colorblind. My brother came out and watched the, watched the thing and he like, bro, you're doing that face too much. <laughs> I'm just against a tree now, yeah. I can even see the guy saying, yeah, so just relax, just relax. <laughs> I'm just like this. <laughs> that's not my posing face. It's something is my posing face. But that's not my posing face. The sun was right in my eye. What do you want me to do? Was it even out for longer? <laughs> but the whole time the pictures would be taken, I'm like this. And he's like, relax your, relax your face, yeah. I'm like, how do I relax my face? And then you know when you start thinking about it too, but you like my face, I'm like, this is my relaxed face, huh? How happy do I look for my wedding? Just pose, na natural, na <laughs> look natural. No, just look like you're in love and you're happy. <laughs> I can't do the face It's yeah. like I married a model, man. And then we're like, okay, so where's these big shots? Because we're thinking we've got to pose somewhere yeah, for the big shots. Yeah, I was thinking, where are these epic like yeah. shots? You know, the epic ones that I saw. I was thinking, no shade to the guy who did the thingy, obviously. Yeah. There's one shot where he said, okay, so here's the money shot now. You've got to lift the mar up in the air, yeah? I'd been going to the gym quite a bit, yeah? Literally three months. My suit was extremely fitted, so like my hands couldn't go past here. So why am I going to put my hands past there? I went in, Allahu Akbar. Look, that's all I need to do for Allahu Akbar. Amara, stand against him and you've got to lift her up in the air. It's like, what? He's like, he's like, oh, lift her up. You're a strong guy. Thinking if I hold around here, the makeup's going to touch me and I've got my shirt and I'm going to be all crease, so I can't do that. It's time to just show off your muscles, bro. Just grab her under her armpits. Cha -cha. So I just grabbed her under her armpits, yeah, and just lifted her in the air. I was living life. I was like, whee! So I'm lifting in the air and he's like, alright, just hold it. It's a like, long time. Like, bro, I, I, I can't hold that. She's like a big girl. You know? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> and my hands are shaking. My dress was really, really heavy to be fair. Yeah, did that for like three, four, five so takes. Long. I got veins popping out in my head. So imagine me holding her up in the air like this. <laughs> With the <laughs> got the pictures back, yeah. I thought that, you know, that when he's holding me up, I thought I was gonna be up in the clouds, but I was just where I was. No, it was a nice picture, but it was a nice picture. I thought I was gonna be up, you know? We got the pictures back and we're like, oh, okay. And then nice. uh, on the receipt at the bottom, they said like, bronze package. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we're on a budget, there was bronze, silver, gold and platinum. And I think those pictures that we're looking at were the platinum. Yeah, platinum. And I think we, we paid for the bronze. So yeah. yeah, that's what bronze gets you. Yeah. <laughs> Still great. So, as you will know, on our wedding day, I sang to Amara. Romantic, right? You're very romantic. Romantic, right? Worst day of my life. Of my entire life, that was like one of the lows. Oh, that makes me so sad. It's one of the, honestly, one of the best moments no, of my life. I'm happy that we got, I got to hold your hand and sing, and sing to you. It's everything that preceded that. Yeah. It's this little 
Hey there, Amaro, what's it like in Stoneway City? Yeah. All of that part is fine. I can sing that very oh, live. Voice. No, I, let me just explain it quickly because I'm going to do this in another video. I've got a little secret for you guys. I've got a little treat for everybody coming up. So I've rehearsed this for ages, that Hey There Delilah song. I changed some of the lyrics, made it my own. My mum loved it. I'd rehearsed it live to my mum, sat on top of the freezer in my house. I was like, mum, what do you think of this? Oh my God, it's, she's going to love it so, so, so much. Came to the wedding day, put the tape in, everything. Told the guys who were filming it, listen, there's going to be a song I would need to get your nice angles on this year. Came to me on the mic. When I held the mic, my hands was doing this year. So I'm going to sing to my wife. And you didn't see this on the video and you never will see this. You don't have to pay a lot of money to see this. <laughs> yeah. If anybody's used mics before, you sing into the mic. The, the system's linked to the mic in the wrong way. So when I sang into the mic, the music got out. Mm -hmm. I couldn't hear myself. If you yeah. can't hear yourself singing, you can't rap. You can't hear the beat of anything. No, you can't. So I tried one time, two times, three times. It all cut out. I, I just saw fear in his eyes. You know when I know Sofian's like done with something, he looked like he was done and I was thinking, no, oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, How many you I was about to back out, yeah, it's like happened once and everyone was like, oh, and it's like, no, it didn't happen. <clears throat> I'm like, <clears throat> yeah, let's go again. Hey there, and I'm singing in the wrong key. I'm like, hey there, and I'm like, no, that's because I can't hear myself and the music's cutting out and I'm like, oh, and then I think Amara's mom said, just sing it a cappella. And I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> I've given up already and my sister anyway, my sister who's also an artist. I'll link her channel in the description or something. So my sister who's also an artist, Swooped in, saved the, saved day, the day, just kind of washed it up because I was crumbling. You know, you're just crumbling within myself. My nephew ran up to me and hugged me and I was like, yes, please. <laughs> I'm just hugging my nephew and he's like, don't worry. The guy's like seven, seven at the time, yeah, and he's still going <laughs> I just saw in Sofian's eyes that he was like, not, not going to keep, you know, trying this thing in front of everybody. And I was thinking, oh my God, it's like, I've been waiting to hear this song so long. I wanted to hear it so badly. And I was thinking, this isn't going to happen. Halima came and she's the same day she's like she's like right we're gonna get this going and i was like thank you so basically i ended up just holding amara's hands and singing to her intimately but everything prior to that uh, i don't know my brother came to me after my big brother and he said um so do you regret it it's <laughs> like yeah it's like don't worry bro it's done now and i was like yeah <laughs> why do you regret it it's so sweet he went, do you wish you never did it i was like bro why are you asking me these questions <laughs> But no, I'm really happy. I wanted to sing to it. Yeah. It's just, it was just a, it was just a difficult. I it was a difficult moment. So I choked. I didn't choke. Actually, I kind of choked, but that's because everything went wrong. And uh, anyway, it's ridiculous. I mean, out of this world, I'm meticulous. And yeah, God came through because I wish for this. And uh, text so much, we got blisters. And uh, we can both be history. What's so hard now? Now it's so yeah, when I think about my wedding day, I just think I was really happy. And I'm not good at being present either. Like, I'm not good at being in the moment. I'm always like thinking about like the next thing, but on that day, I was like very in the moment. And it was just nice. I just felt safe with him and very like seen with him as well. It was strange. You used to be in front of everybody and just be like, oh, we're really married. Like, we're together. And then I remember there's a moment, it's on video, which is really cool. And it's when we're leaving the wedding venue, you know, at the end, so everything's like, shut down and we're just leaving the venue and he opens the door for me and he's like holding my hand and I remember feeling like whoa like I felt so safe I was used to like my family looking after me and my dad looking after me and it felt so like whoa I'm kind of like part of another family now with Sofian and he was holding my hand he was walking me out and I was just thinking this is gonna be great inshallah like I just felt so secure it just felt great alhamdulillah felt really good as for me on the day of the wedding, I actually felt for the first time like I became a man. Since something changed inside me, I was responsible for Amara and I was, I was not going to mess that up. I was never gonna make her unhappy. I was never gonna make her need anything else from other people. Obviously her family, I can't give her what her family gives her. When her dad passes the role of responsibility to me, I'm gonna feel that, I'm gonna like overachieve. I just wanted to give my wife the world. I've always wanted to give my wife the world. I always said my wife, now my wife is Amara. No, I'm her! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're here now. <laughs> it was actually the the happiest day of my life. The joint happiest day of my life. One of the other happiest day of my life. My mum was ill and we found out that she was um, we found out that she was gonna be okay. In terms of my personal like achievements for me, the happiest moment in my life, the best thing I ever did. Alhamdulillah I married the best woman for me in the world. I couldn't have it any better. I'm forever grateful. I love you. Oh, you know I love little bits. Take that. I'm gonna edit that out. Yeah, I love my wife. All of the doubts that were in my mind, as like as I, as I stepped over that boundary, they just disappeared. You know, and 
so far so good. I look back at those pictures and the wedding video parts of it and I feel very proud, you know? I think that's the best looking I've ever looked as well. <laughs> you, <laughs> you always look good, mashallah, but you look like really, like, was, you look like Tarzan. I think that's the best I've ever looked. Oh, yeah. well, give really me good. one year, give me one year. But yeah, we're super grateful for the day. It yeah. was really good, alhamdulillah. Everybody put in a lot of work to make it like come together, alhamdulillah. Mm -hmm. It was one day, smashed it. And now you can smash that like button if you like this video, please. <laughs> oh, if you've not sweet. subscribed, please give us a subscribe. If you'd like to comment below, share something with us, share something about your day, what you'd like your day to be like. If you do want to get married, please let us know. Thank you for everybody who did comment and gave us all of the likes and love. So much love on, on that video. video. I didn't yeah. expect that. So many yeah. people were so sweet. I that know, alhamdulillah, it did really, really well. We're really, really grateful. Yeah, really Wish you were there, to be honest. Yeah. You? Um, but you know, we had a budget. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back, new video every weekend, inshallah. inshallah. Keep your bell notifications turned on and inshallah, as soon as we post a video, you will know. And yeah. that will make us happy. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the video. That's everything that went wrong with our wedding day. My name's Sufyan. My name's Amar. We are the exes and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.